What's going on everybody? This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog. No, I actually forgot my tripod in my car that's getting serviced right now, so I set it up on this little vase that I have, and so now I'm coming to you like this. If you're like me, you probably have at least one or two bags, maybe even three or four, but if you're more like me, you have about five or six that are sitting in your closet and pissing your girlfriend off. I have a laptop, a camera, you know, uh, a, f a lens or two, um, a flash. Got all this stuff that I like to carry around to and from work and also when I travel, the, the few times that I travel. But I like to put everything in one bag, one bag only, and I think I found it. It's sitting here to my right. It's made by a company called Timbuk2, which is a San Francisco-based company. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, but they make this awesome little bag that comes at a very reasonable price. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and show you guys the pros and the cons to it whether or not you should buy it, and kind of just show you what it's about. So, for the next few minutes, hang out with me, and let go. So here's the outside of the bag. Now what I'm going to be highlighting throughout this entire video is design, functionality, and overall quality of this bag. It comes in three different sizes. You got extra small, small, and medium. Small is what I have right here, which fits a 13-inch laptop, and then the medium fits a 15-inch laptop, and the extra small, I think, would only fit an iPad. Now, the um, extra small goes for f uh, 59, small goes for 69, and the medium goes for 79 at the time of this video. So make sure you guys head over there right now and grab it while you can. It's, um, outer shell is a nylon ballistic, or bulletproof nylon ballistic lining there. So it, uh, it's super tough, keeps all of the weather elements out. On the inside, we've got a TPU lining here that is also uh, a nice protector against all the weather elements, keeping your gear nice and safe on the inside. On the right hand side, you've got this large clip, which is a very quick, easy access to take the bag on and off so it won't mess up your helmet or your hair, um, which is nice. Uh, it's attached by two Velcros right here, two vertical Velcro straps there, and then two horizontal ones going across, which is good because it also gives you, you know, a different um, lengths that you can Velcro it, which comes in handy because my camera is a little bit bigger and when I have it in here, it kind of sticks out a little bit. So these extra vertical uh, Velcros help um, give it extra room. On the right hand side, there's this little pocket, zipper pocket there that's a quick access. So you don't actually have to open the bag. You can just kind of slip in here, put your um, phone, wallet, and keys and the, the hole is actually really really big kind of covers your my entire hand up to my forearm there so nice and big you got this little Timbuktu logo here or with a little handle on the bottom it has these two pull tight straps that is good for um, like a tripod All right. on the inside it's got these two what I found very very interesting and didn't really Notice them at first, but these two little Velcro straps that strap here that cause it to fold in like that, which is super clean because one, it gives the, the bag a nice look when it's closed. Um, you can kind of see how those are working there. It gives it look, looks like a, like a folded piece of, like a present. <laughs> but anyway, those fold in and Velcro to each other very nicely, but why they open up so you can pull the laptop in and out of here. You got a uh, compartment one there, compartment two, and compartment number three which comes in really handy. I put my flash and my business cards on this side with, along with the card reader. Put my main camera right here and my other lenses over here along with my actual digital, or not digital, my film camera, my AE-1 Pro program, which is sitting right there. That's all the stuff that goes into it, my lenses there and everything. So this bag is super nice. I just took it to Hawaii and it only was the, the bag that I carry around everywhere I went. Now it's nice because inside the bag, um, it's actually just a little bit of, this is actually just a liner. So it's a classic messenger bag. Um, here's the pocket for the uh, laptop there. It's nice and padded on the back side right here. You can feel some foam padding. It's nice and protected and along right here. They give you some extra uh, partitions there to let you kind of customize this compartment here. It's really cool too because this also zips up. So if you want to keep your stuff in this bag alone and you have another backpack or something, you can just kind of zip up your camera gear and your lenses and all that stuff and got a little handle right there and go on your day. Some more compartments to explore are this front zipper here, which has this little key clip thing attached by a nice little nylon, um, very, very sturdy and durable thing there, which is nice. 
compartment number two, I guess, or slot number two. Gives you more, more uh, storage space. And this is the, my favorite pocket, the front pocket here, which is clear see-through. I put keys and um, some memory cards in there. So that way you can see what's going on. Now, another little feature set of these guys is that they come with these Velcro silencers. And what these do is they just st um, stick onto the Velcro strips here. And so where these come in handy is that if you need to get in your bag and you don't want to be in a loud um, area or you want to be quiet, you just put those on there and rely on the um, buckles here to fasten your bag. All right, here's all my stuff. I've got my laptop there, my card reader, my Sigma 51.4 there, which is a big hefty lens if you guys don't know much about it. Hey, stay tuned for the review on this guy, by the way. Um, my 80s flash there, some miscellaneous cables, HDMI cable, iPod, iPhone sync cable, this USB cable for my memory, I'm sorry, for my card reader there, checkbook, who uses checkbooks anymore, but I guess I have to have it in there for whatever reasons. Some film there, my film camera, my AE, my Canon AE-1 program, and a little notebook in the background. Some business cards here, and a little thing of drugs. Now all this fits in there, and the uh, actual camera, the one I'm shooting on, fits in the middle compartment there. And so what I'm gonna do is stuff everything in there, show you what it looks like, and then I'll be right back. We'll go through it here. Um, got the old digital, or I'm sorry, why do I keep saying that? The film camera right there, Canon AE-1P, sits nice and snug right in there. Looks good. I've got my Sigma 51.4 right there, and this is also the main compartment where my camera gets stowed as well. <clears throat> but I'm currently shooting on it, so that's impossible to do. We got left compartments here that hold the flash, my business cards, card reader, and some extra film there. The um, little vial of pills that stay right in there. And this little open pocket, as well as a rear end cap for the uh, lens in there. Okay. This little slot, the cables and miscellaneous things go in there along with some um, that key if I want to attach a key to that little key holder and the memory card slot right there which is nice and protected with this little see-through plastic very very nice quality is awesome got the uh, velcro silencers there and this microfiber cloth that I also tossed into there as well pull the flap down there boom everything gets locked in like that and we're ready to go alright so here we are in the bathroom with the bag on the back. Just to let you guys know, I'm about 5'8 and a half, 5'9, weigh about 160, my waist size is 32, and that will give you an idea of how this will compare on your body. So anyway, uh, again, this is a messenger bag, goes across the chest there, right or left, doesn't matter. Um, the bag sits very, very comfortably, let me see if I can get that, on my lower back, uh, right above my butt. And uh, feels very, very good. The quality is on point. Got a nice little cushion. I can run around with it without it moving around. Um, never afraid that these straps are going to give out. They're really, really tough. They're thick, both um, in width and in, I guess, overall thickness. You can set it down, adjust the strap, make it uh, tighter or looser if you'd like with that little quick release there. And this also serves as like a little handle too. You can pull it um, if you choose to do that. Again, across the back, there it is. I'm out of here, I'm on my way, just riding my bike, walking mostly, or just going to work. This bag is awesome. This is my go-to bag for everyday use, work use, travel use, going to the city use, everything. The, mo the biggest and coolest feature that I like to use most often is um, the quick side pocket pocket that you have here that is zipper controlled that you can just you know pull out your notebook, let's say wallet, whatever you like without even having to open up the bag itself. The lip stays shut, boom, if you're riding a bike, you can just reach back there and grab it as well. So my overall thoughts on this on this bag are huge the price point 69 bucks for what you're getting again this is a small version it comes in three different colors i think it's like a a gray and a green a black and a gray and this gray and red color um but the black one is sold out everywhere i tried to find it um 69 bucks is nothing for the feature set the build quality and the overall functionality of this bag i get highly highly recommend that you guys check it out hit up timbuk2.com 
Hope you guys found this video informative. If I left anything out or if you have any other questions, just drop a comment below. Um, I answer all my comments. PM me. Follow me on Twitter at Tim's Tech Blog. Timbuk2 did not send this out to me for uh, to review. I bought this with my own dollar bills. So just to let you guys know, I want to support this company, and so should you. Check the bag out. Love it. Great everyday tech bag, camera bag. Comes highly recommended from Tim's Tech Blog. You guys have a great day. Hope you found this video informative. One of those if you liked it. One of those if you didn't. Drop the comment below. Subscribe right here. And I will check you guys in the next video, okay? Peace.